Now before we pour any concrete, we want to take radon into consideration. In this part of the country, it can be a bit of a problem as in many other parts of the country. So one thing that we've done is installed at least four inches of loose rock like this. What this does is allows the radon to migrate through the floor over to a point like these pipes that we've installed here. This is a pipe that goes into the rock. It's open on the bottom. It provides a great pathway for the radon gas to come up here. We'll hook this up all the way through the roof so the radon gas goes right out the roof. Now the third line of defense, a vapor gas barrier. Well, this is a high density polyethylene. We're going to use this to cover the whole floor. This is 20 feet wide on the roll and it's fan folded. I'm going to get a little bit more manageable. To get started, we just roll it out, cut it to the length that we need, and then we'll unfold it to cover the space in the room. Now, it's just pretty thick stuff. It's five layers bonded together with three layers of polyethylene. Also has these polyester cords running throughout in a grid pattern that helps reinforce the material. If you had regular plastic laid over these rocks and walked on it, it caused some holes and probably some leakage. Now once you get this stuff laid out and you hit obstacles like uh, plumbing pipes like this, what we could do is we could just slit right up and bring the material around, but we want to keep the, the number of protrusions and slits in this material at a minimum so you don't have gas leaking through. So instead what I'm going to do is just make a little cut, make a little hole in this area right here, and then we'll just lift it up over the top. And once we get that accomplished, then we'll come back and we'll actually install some boots. It's a pretty good process for sealing these up. Now along our walls, we want to make sure that the material comes up to an inch below the top of our concrete floor. For us, that's about five inches, so we're plenty good here. We'll end up cutting off any excess after we get it sealed up. And to secure it, we're going to use this double-sided tape. We're going to be doing two rows of it, one right at the base of the wall, and another one a couple inches above that. That'll make it nice and secure, and make sure that this doesn't come away from the wall when they pour the concrete. Now the tape that we're using here is pretty aggressive. It's really sticky, but it does come with a release tape, so it makes it pretty easy to work with. Well, back here at the Creekside home, they can measure for radon after construction. If it measures too high, they can add an inline fan to the vent in the attic, and that'll make it an active system and help make sure that all the radon down here gets up and out. Okay, with our fabric all down, now it's time to take care of some of these uh, penetrations. We have these pipes sticking out of our fabric here. So what we're using are these boots. Now, these are manufactured to slide over the top a nice big base to seal with our fabric here and then this, uh, this sleeve to head over the top. The nice thing is the hard part right here, this seal between the flat and the round is already made as part of the manufacture. So it just slides over like this. Lay that down, get the flat part of our boot nice and established on top of that double stick tape. Then slide the round part of the boot down, get some tape laid out on the pipe there. Bring that back up, get that nice and attached we have a nice airtight seal. So installing these boots, we end up with a much tighter seal than you can get just by applying tape to the raw fabric itself. Another area that we want to make sure is sealed off are our seams, like this one right here in the doorway where we have two pieces coming together. We want to make sure we overlap by about 6 to 12 inches. We also want to make sure that it's nice and loose right here, that there's some give so that as the concrete comes down, it doesn't end up pulling away, just like we did at the walls. Once we get everything where we like it, we'll run a piece of double-sided tape right down the middle. And then, carefully lay it over. It's just that easy. All right, we'll seal up a couple more areas, and then we'll be all set for insulation.